Hello and uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today I want to assemble this amplifier here. Yeah, this is the USB display. Uh, these are just connectors. Yeah, this one came with the board. I had already fixed this part yeah, for the knobs and also the switch. So the display will fit in there. And this is the motherboard itself. It's a blue motherboard. This is the transformer. It is a 12.50 12.5. These are speaker connectors and also a fan. So without wasting time, let me connect these things. So the fan will fit there. Yeah, these are the speaker connectors and the RCA. They are together. And this is the power cord. I've already fixed them. Eh? Now this is the motherboard. It is rated at uh, 15 left, 15 right, and 30 for the subwoofer. It is powered by three ICs, eh? and this one powers the base. But I always like to change this one. Eh? You see, this one is a. Uh, let me zoom. Uh, this is a TDA2030 for the base, but I always like to change it. So that we can get at least more power. Yeah, the rest are 20, 30, 20, 30, which is okay for the mid sections. Yeah, but for the subwoofer, I change it with this one. This is a TDA 2050. Yeah, at least it will have better base and more base, eh? of course. Now, without wasting time, take the screw, remove the pin holding the IC to the heat sink. I'm forwarding up the camera eh? and then you use the solder to remove the high C. Yeah, it is out. Heat sink paste. It is used for thermal conduction. Just apply a little bit, just a dot, not all of it or a lot. Then you can mount it there, take the screw back. And then yeah. Now it is about time to solder. We solder this thing. Yeah, then you use a dry cleaner uh, to make sure the board is clean. Yeah, to avoid a lot of conduction from the excess solder. So it looks this way. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to set a new, I'm going to connect a lot of wires. You can see them there. <laughs> Now what happens, this is the power, power comes in here from the transformer, that is the AC in. And then the yellow, yellow and the blue, it is the input signal. These two is the 12 volts, provide power to the display. It comes from this 7812 regulator, you see it is there. I also used a glue gun to make sure they don't touch each other. Yeah. Now this is left. Or right mid and also the next one left and right mid this is for the subwoofer you can see they are quite thick yeah the subwoofer wires should be a little bit thick because they carry more power so we solder them to the speaker connectors at the back and the final thing will look this way after you have soldered so make sure the red is on the red and the black is on the black. Then we need a charger. Now, why do we need a charger? The charger is needed for the fan. Eh? You see, I don't want to overload the transformer yeah, by running everything. So use the charger, 5 volts charger, yeah, to rotate this fan. Eh? And you can do a testing. Eh? You see, it is there rotating. Yeah, it is having some hair flow. 
So you use a screw, you tighten everything together, the transformer and also the charger and the cord now it is you you put the cord there so that you can solder it to the switch. Yeah you have to know how the switch operates. It has three pins. So one is for the switch, the other one is for the light, so you connect it. And the final thing will look this way. Now we just need to connect the display to this part. But we'll need to use some capacitors, resistors, and the two ceramic 104 to filter the audio signal from the display. Otherwise it may be very distorting. So this is how you connect it there. That one filters the power, 12 volts, making sure it is stable, that it does not burn. Yeah, this one. Eh? Then, this other one, the yellows, I told you it is the left and right signal. So they pass through the ceramics and also the 10K resistors. Yeah, they are so connected to the ground and make sure they are just there to remove distortion. Eh? Then I can use a masking tape to cover these things and they will look that way. Yeah? yeah, so that they do not join or conduct. Then we can now push them inside and lock up there. Yeah, the fan is already rotating. And we have already pushed it inside and locked up the display. Now let's go to the speaker section. So I've finished setting up the amplifier, it is this one here, yeah this is how it looks, I love to paint somewhere here, yeah I think black. So that's the amplifier, now for the speakers, you have this one, and this other one, and the, the subwoofer, you have this one here. Now let me explain how the speakers ended up in cartons. <laughs> now you see where I stay, uh, the cost of making a subwoofer box is very expensive, especially the wood. The carpenters here are very expensive. Eh? So what I did, I discovered there are these guys who make uh, amplifiers for motorbikes. Eh? And they use this kind of PVC pipe. You see this one? Yeah, so what they do, they take this pipe, they make it like one and a half feet or two feet. Eh? Then they take the speaker, they put it on top, and they cover the bottom with, let's say, a circular, a circular wood. Yeah, then somewhere here, they make a small hole for the breather. And then they can use a cello tape to cover this part. Yeah, they can use a black cello tape to cover this thing. So I used the same method, but now that cylinder, you know, it cannot be held. But now that cylinder, you know, cannot be self-supportive. Eh? So I put it inside here and then use some mattresses so that it can be supported inside this carton. And then we apply some cello tapes. You cut on the top for the speaker, you can see it there, and then this side for the breather. So it is there standing this way, yeah? the breather is here, and the <laughs> speaker is on top. That's it, we'll do a testing of course. Now for these ones, uh, you see when we buy stuff from town, uh, they normally package them in this kind of delivery boxes. So I discovered instead of spending a lot of wood trying to make a speaker box, you can just take one of these boxes and we make a hole somewhere for this speaker. This is the speaker we are using, it's a 4 ohm 15 watts, that is for the mid range. So you make a hole, you put it inside there, and then if you have tweeters like mine, you use this gun. This is a hot 
here is a glue gun. So you plug it in power and then you can make some gun there, some glue and then your tweeters will be mounted there. So you end up having something like this. So you can do the testing. These are the wires from the back side. That is how the setup will look like that. Yeah, you can also make it look this way if you wish. So let me connect everything together and then now we can test. Yeah. Well, this is the setup. Uh, left speaker, right speaker, and then this is the subwoofer. I placed it down here it is somewhere hidden yeah there's also this other one but for the time being we are using this one alone so and uh, this is the power this is for the speaker let me turn this thing around yeah you see this one this is for the subwoofer and uh, this is left and right mid the subwoofer is uh, 30 watts for home. Bluetooth mode. FM mode. Line in mode. So the fan is there. It is working. It's the left and right mid. This is for the antenna, but you can always extend it. Now without wasting time, let me play some music, I'll play one to test the vocals, and then one to test the instruments. Eh? For the music, I'll be using this recorder to play on the USB part, and this is a Sony recorder. <laughs> this one I modified yeah, to stop buying every time replaceable batteries, so I, I put there a uh, rechargeable battery when it gets finished you just charge and we save the money for buying new batteries so you just connect it there usb driver mode now of course i cannot play any music I just have to play in and copyright so let's test the vocals then we test the instruments Testing the vocals, now let's test the instruments alone. Some instruments and a bass. So I'll give it like two or three minutes we play. Bass is here.
yeah that was the testing of course there is also another one here but uh, we are just doing content for this one so thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel